I've been sober for about three weeks now, and to be honest, I'm finding it difficult to fill my time. I never realized how much time I spent drinking. It's a big change, and I can imagine that if you're having trouble finding other things to do, you might start thinking about drinking. Oh yeah, that's when it's really hard. My cravings get really strong. Well, you're doing a fantastic job managing those cravings. But we definitely want to start getting you involved in some rewarding activities, so it's not so much a daily struggle. Sounds good to me. Okay. On the form you filled out, you check some possible activities that you've done at least once in the past few months and found enjoyable. Any of those come to mind now? Yeah, I've been thinking about it. I, I like bowling a lot. I like the game, the atmosphere. I, I think that could be one. Good. Now one thing we have to consider is whether this activity is highly associated with drinking. Did you drink when you bowl? <laughs> yeah, I sure did. So maybe that's not such a good activity. Probably not now. At this stage, we don't want to choose things that are likely to trigger you to drink. Are there any other activities that you used to like that don't involve alcohol? Boy, this isn't easy. I, most things I did for the past few years always involved drinking. Okay, so this is a vignette reflective of the community reinforcement approach, and I think in general what they're trying to do is they're trying to identify activities that can replace, you know, uh, substance using activities and things that might be rewarding or make the client feel good about him or herself and so on. So if we stayed with those old activities, they could trigger drinking. Yeah. So, so we're looking to uh, replace those. Replace those. It's uh -huh. very much that kind of concept. Uh -huh. Let's let's move those out by replacing them with other ones. So the client comes up with the idea, hey, I could go bowling. Yeah. What a great idea great that idea. is. He loves bowling. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> but? <laughs> <laughs> Here we've got, it's associated with drinking. Sure. And the therapist probes that a little bit, the client comes to see, uh, maybe that's not such a good activity. Yeah, there's a, a very kind of uh, behavioral component to this where they're saying, what's the learning history? 